Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be attempting the unspeakable, the big no-no. Tile over tile. Is it possible? Let's find out. So you wanna make sure that everything is solid before you even attempt this. And it sounds like everything is very solid in here. Once we confirmed our original tile was solid, the next step was to remove any stains or grease using a product called TSP. Trisodium phosphate is great for removing any wax or grease that may be on your tile and is the perfect product to use prior to the application of our next product, which will create the perfect bonding surface for the new tile adhesive. This product is called Multi Bond Primer. The tile we are going over is a porcelain tile. It has a very smooth, slick surface, which makes it impossible for any adhesive or thin set to stick to without using a product like MBP. Now you're gonna to wanna to stir this product at low RPM, either by hand or using a mixer for about three to five minutes prior Prior to applying it. It's very gritty and it almost feels like there's a sand mixture within the primer. To apply the multi-bond primer I'm using a two and a half inch angled cutting brush to take care of all the edge work and then I'll use a 10 mil or 3 8 roller sleeve to roll out the rest of it. I'm applying two coats of the MVP before the next step however you could skip the next step and start applying your new tile directly over this prep surface. I wanted to take it a step further by adding a waterproofing membrane on top of the primer. This membrane is made by Schluter and to apply it I'm using a thin set made by Ardex. This Ardex 77 is a fiber infused thin set that will help bond to the prime surface. When you're mixing your thin set make sure to follow the mixing instructions on the bag. Not all thin set adhesives are the same and therefore each will have their own mixing protocols. To apply the Curdy waterproofing membrane I'm just spreading an even coat of thin set on the blue primer and then laying the membrane into it. From there you want to use the flat side of your trowel and press the membrane into the thin set from the middle outward. The idea here is to remove any air bubbles from underneath the membrane. Most of this tile area is covered by a front porch roof and once again this step is probably not even needed but when it rains and the winds come together with the rain some moisture does make it up onto the tile so better to be safe than sorry. Okay we're back the next day the Curdy waterproof membrane has dried completely and we're just setting our new tiles. We're using a non-slip porcelain 24 inch by 24 inch charcoal tile however I'm not going to get into tile installation on this video because this video was just to show you that yes it is possible to tile over tile these days but only under certain conditions. One your original tile must be completely solid with no loose tile. Two, you must use a product such as multi-bond primer. And lastly, you have to use the proper thin set adhesive for your particular application. Back the next day to grout, we're using a charcoal color grout on this project. And a quick tip for you guys, if you do an exterior tile like this, run a two inch masking tape line up against the trim of the house. It'll save you a lot of time trying not to get grout on the house. This is the third and final wipe and then it should be just a light film of dust that can come off with a rag when it's dry. Pretty good straight line on stucco, it's not bad. Well there you have it guys, tile over tile. This one turned out okay. We'll see how it lasts. Uh, we'll come back in about 12 months and do an update video to this tile over tile project and see if it held up through all four seasons. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching guys. I hope you will uh, think about subscribing and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.